the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. The teams then, Salernitana against Napoli. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beglin. Hello Peter and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. So empty, I'm receding And all of my friends are misplaced Been in circles several days Never knowing the right way mm, yeah so There's the whistle Forward tracking back like that Always appreciated by the crowd you have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing but instead he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here Eunice passes it through goal Napoli and it's Napoli who take the lead Yeah, I love the finish, but I think had the pass been delayed for just a second longer, I think he would have been flagged offside, and I think you have to praise them all round on that one, from the pass and the finish. Napoli take the early advantage. Fired in from distance. It's there to get rid. Well, he rushed into that and didn't give anyone a chance to get on the end of it. Goulan. And it's Ruiz. Yunus. Good challenge. He just stood firm. has got good distance on that and the ball needed to be better there it's a wasted chance uh, that looks a foul yep referee's given it has a swing at it oh great save real class well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order Peter that was very good to watch Keepers ball. Politano. Yunus. Meret. Spoon forward. Ruiz. long and direct well positioned to make that interception Politano pumps it upfield Yunus Meretz Politano We 
We've reached half time. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence, and not rush into mistakes. And we're underway again. Well, I'm sure the managers talk the talk, and now it's time for these players to walk the walk and deliver a rousing response. Napoli have a free kick. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Defence has got rid of that. Ronaldo. Yunus gets it back. In again. In once more. No, not this time. Napoli didn't really deal with the wide play. It was a, a lovely dribble down the flank, but really they've got to double up to try and stop that. And I think with the attempted goal too, they were a little fortunate. Sambo and Gisa. Politano. Oliveira. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Drilled in low. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. Dinks one in. And that's put paid to a promising move. Tries to stroke it through. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, there'll be no accusations of uh, a lack of effort. They're giving as good as they get when it comes to chances. Who's going to make this theirs? And it's Ruiz. Ruiz looks like a good ball through. It's gone for a throw-in. Now the pass. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Mario Rui really didn't have enough to concern the defence. Battles to win it back. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Looking desperate here, short on time and options. Well, if you're asking me who the most likely winner is, then I've got to pick the team that's uh, upwardly mobile. Ruiz. That's a throw. Well, they're supposed to be chasing a goal, and yet there's no urgency or sense of awareness. They've got to wake up. Well, the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. The final whistle. So it ends 1-0, an enthralling game.